The Kumasi Airport is to be upgraded to international standard. The project is expected to cost $300 million and is being executed by Bans Consult and Messrs PW Ghana Limited. The proposed airport plan has been outdoored in Kumasi. The proposed Kumasi International Airport, when completed, will have a passenger terminal, fuel farm, car park extension, police station, art and craft village and entertainment enclave. There will also be a health facility, airport city enclave, truck parking facility, hangar and warehousing facilities among others. Environmentally friendly systems such as solar energy and harvesting system are expected to be installed. The Kumasi airport was built in 1943 and between 1958 and 1959, extension works were done on the runway and navigational facilities to improve domestic airline operations. The lights on the runway and the area for taxiing were installed in 1970. Six years ago, as a result of the heavy passenger traffic, it was decided that the airport should be upgraded. However, because of limited land, a new plot was acquired at Ankasi in the Kwabre district for the project. The chief executive of the KMA confirmed that compensation is ongoing for landowners affected by the project. Though the VVIP and the terminal building have been expanded, there is still a lot more to be done to bring it up to international standards. The chief executive of the Ghana Airport Company, Madame Dorin Usufianko, explained that the expansion and rehabilitation of the damaged runway are being carried out simultaneously. All things being equal, if we're able to mobilize all our funding and the support that we know we are going to get from the Kumasi Metropolitan Authority and the people of Ashanti generally, we should be giving you a brand new international airport within the next three years. But we'll all be praying towards this to become a reality. The Kumasi Metropolitan Chief Executive, Mr. Kojobonsu, gave the assurance that the Assembly will ensure that the works are completed on schedule. Promised by September of December, when the, the runways are finished and we have nights, the airport seriously can be an international.